What's going on gamers? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to go over the hottest hitters and pitchers in the MLB right now that's going to help you make millions and millions of stubs. We also have a new program coming up this Friday. So make sure that you stay tuned so I can show you the fastest way to complete it and get the newest legends and make even more stubs in MLB The Show 22. Let's get into today's banger. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. Now, starting the video off with 76 overall Yandy Diaz. I'm going to give you a breakdown on what you should be looking for and how you can make very good profit off of these investments. Okay, so Yandy Diaz, 76 overall. You can get him for less than 78 stubs all right so over the past 30 days yandy diaz is coming in with a 375 average that puts him in the top five currently at number four in batting averages over the past month he also has two home runs so not the most power but his own base percentage is over a 1000 he also has 11 doubles so if you look at doubles over the past 30 days he is tied for first place. So he has been on fire. You can get him for less than 100 stubs. Now, if we go to filter, this is where it's important at. If we go back right here and we go to filter and we look at 80 overall filters, okay? So you're gonna only be getting them for about 75 stubs. If you go to live series, okay? If you go to live series and you're thinking about an 80 overall, you can see some of these 80 overalls are 700 stubs. You can even get some that's gonna go a little higher than that. So if you are spending under 80 stubs, you're gonna be making over a 650 stub profit each and every time. All he's gonna need is a plus three or a plus four to get that hype, to go to the next level, and you're gonna be sitting with millions and millions of stubs. Very easy. Another car is this 83 overall Jeff McNeil. Over the past 30 days, Jeff McNeil is coming in in the top 10 currently at number six with batting averages. Okay, not the highest OPS, but a 369 batting average over the past 30 days is pretty good. No home runs over the past 30 days, so not too much power attribute updates will be happening, but he does come in with nine doubles, okay? Nine doubles will put him currently in the top five over the past 30 days on extra base hits. He's coming in over the past 30 days with 38 hits. That means that the boy has been super, super consistent. That should be enough to get him at least a plus one. Being that you can buy him at an 83 overall for the bare minimum, about 1,200 stubs, I think it is. That means that he has the potential off a of hype closer to the roster update to trend up to about 23 to 2,500 stubs. That's going to give you over a thousand profit on each and every investment. So when I say on each and every investment, I am saying if you want to make millions and millions of stubs in MLB, go ahead and get yourself 30 to 40 of all these investments because they have very, very good chances at seeing some kind of bump up on the next attribute update. Now, a car on the little more expensive side would be this 84 overall Christian Walker. But I think with the new program coming out Friday, you will be able to find the same car for about 1,800 stubs. You want to jump on this Christian Walker. It's no way that he don't get upgraded soon, either this roster update or the next one. And then if not, just off of hype, he will go close to about 3,000 stubs. So if you get him for 1,800, you're going to be making a little over 1,100 profit on each and every single one. So if you get 50 of them, that's going to be over 50,000 profit you make. 100 of them is going to be over 100,000 profit that you make. Super, super easy. No real risk at all. As long as you get him under 2,000 stubs, you're going to be making super, super great profit. Let's look at a few of the pitchers. Okay, so over the past 30 days, we're going to be looking at 84 overall Urias. He is coming in currently with a 1.50 ERA. Okay, so that puts him in the top five currently, the third best ERA over the past 
30 days. He's coming in with a four and one record. Okay. Over the past 30 days, he also has 27 strikeouts. So 27 strikeouts, a 1.50 ERA, and a four and one record. It's only two different pitchers that have a better record than him over the past 30 days off of hype. Like I said, wait until the new program comes out. More packs will come into the game. You can get him around 1,800 stubs. Off of hype, he can go up to about 3,000 stubs. And then if he doesn't even get a plus one, it would be a no risk investment because if you get him at 1,800, you can turn around and make a lot of stubs even if you sell them ahead of the roster update at about 2800 to 2900 stubs always check the day before the roster update exactly like i'm telling you in this video look at the prices and you will see a 600 to 700 stub increase a card that has picked up steam got on fire over the past 30 days is this 79 overall lance land he should be back up to a goal Coming in with a .85 ERA, 3-0 record, 38 Ks over the past 30 days. He's been locked in. 400 stubs right now. Let that dip down to around 320, 340. Go ahead, pick yourself up 40 or 50 of these. These cards are not super expensive, so it's really a no-risk method. When you're going to have potential to make 200,000 to 500,000 off of these investments okay we're gonna go more deeper into bigger higher cards on the next video so stay tuned drop a thumbs up and i'll see y'all in the next video